Antonio Conte, for a lot of Manchester United fans, was the name at the top of their list to replace Ole Gunnar Solskjaer when last week it seemed like he was going to be sacked as Manchester United manager. The club then did a U-turn after Monday where it seemed inevitable that he was going to lose his job and then supported Solskjaer. Fast forward a few days, we beat Spurs 3-0. Nuno Espirito Santo's job is in question. Fast forward to the Monday. And a week after Sol when we thought Solskjaer was going to be sacked and wasn't, Spurs have sacked Nuno Espirito Santo. He is gone as Tottenham Hotspur manager. Now, how does this affect Manchester United? It's because Antonio Conte is being linked with the man to replace him. Let me run through the story quickly with you before we discuss it. Fabrizio Romano here saying that Antonio Conte, now Tottenham are pushing to convince Conte as their new manager. He's always been top of the list since June. Now, remember that Conte turned Spurs down last, or in the summer, sorry. Fast forward. Board of Spurs' board are feeling more than confident to convince Antonio Conte and appoint him as the new manager to replace Nuno. Talks are progressing right now with Conte's camp. He's asking for that plan for the next transfers and Paratici is on it. And then Romano has just said, Conte is ready to accept the Tottenham Hotspur proposal. Talks are underway and understood to be at the final stages. The salary and the long-term contract discussed, but it seems he is convinced to say yes. Negotiations will continue in the next few hours in order to complete the agreement. Could Conte be going to Spurs? According to Romano, yes. Now, what's your reaction to that in the comments? As I said, Conte, for a lot of United fans, was the solution to our problem right now. Manchester United, hell, we even used the Conte formation at the weekend, didn't we? A more example that it could work with Conte United. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, not really out of nowhere, but Spurs have acted. Spurs have acted and sacked Nuno. For a lot of United fans, that's that's part of the frustration and anger because you can see everything that's going on with Solskjaer and Manchester United right now and nothing's happening, whereas Spurs have acted and they have sacked Nuno and at the same time, talks are really progressing with Conte. Negotiations will continue in the next few hours to complete the agreement. Now, what's your reaction to this in the comments? What's your opinion on Conte? Honestly, where do you stand on it? Because my opinion is very clear on one thing with Conte. If Manchester United wanted Antonio Conte as manager, Antonio Conte would already be our manager. Conte wanted the United job. It's Spurs. Lads, it's Tottenham. Simple as that. And I don't mean that in a... Actually, I do mean that in a disrespectful way. Conte would walk into... Run to United with his arms open rather than going to Spurs. He's going to fall out with Levy. In the same way that Mourinho did, Conte is a manager who does clash with owners who do not back him. Levy is the king of the managers who do not back their managers. Sim the king of, sorry, owners who don't back his managers. Simple as that. Conte will fall out at Spurs. But Conte was seen by so many United fans as the solution to Manchester United problems this season. If you're looking at a manager who's going to come into our club right now and get us competing with City, with Liverpool, with Chelsea between now and the end of the season, Conte is probably your man. But Conte very much looks like he's going to be going to Tottenham Hotspur. Is this going to be another situation where Manchester United miss out on the manager who is available? Whether that's Pochettino going to PSG, whether that's, you know, you could argue Guardiola going to City if, if we really aggressively went there earlier than we didn't. Or is Conte not the right man? As I said, I stand by this completely. If United wanted Conte, we'd already have Conte in. Now, you would imagine that Spurs do have a plan in place already, and you can see that by the fact that they are aggressively going for Conte. Does that mean they've already got the agreement in place before they sacked? Nuno, or they were just confident enough that they were going to get Conte, that they're happy to sack him ahead of those agreements being put in place. Let me know where you stand on this, because this is going to be an interesting and really rapidly developing story, which does affect Manchester United. Is this going to be Man United um, missing out on another top level manager by not acting quick enough? For a lot of United fans, you will say yes, because as I said, rewind the week. It was United in this situation on a Monday morning with a manager under intense scrutiny, even more scrutiny, because we lost 5-0 to Liverpool. And that was the end of a barren run. Spurs have gone and sacked Nuno Espirito Santo after only 17 games in charge. That's them admitting he was the wrong man. But remember what happened with Spurs in the summer? They went after Conte. They went after Gattuso. They went after... I don't know how many managers they went after. And they ended up with Nuno Espirito Santo. It did not work out for them. A lot of United fans will argue that United were in a similar situation with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in the, the fact that it just isn't work. We can see that he's not capable of getting us to that top level. But United, if we wanted Conte, we would have already got Conte in. Simple. 
The fact that the board is split over Conte means we were taking our time. Does that mean we've missed out on Conte when we when maybe at least half of the board were like, you know what? Yeah, we, we should be getting Conte in. Or we shouldn't be getting Conte in. Do you think there was part of the club that were going to do that? And it now sort of maybe makes me change my stance because I said and I stood by it and I was very I was very confident in the fact that I thought Manchester United would be changing their manager during the international break. I thought we were just giving ourselves a little bit of time to sort that out because we were doing our contingency planning for the crisis whilst the crisis was happening. The whole concept of contingency planning is you plan before it so when the crisis happens, you're ready to react immediately. United instead doing that mid-crisis. It's not how a business is run. It's not how anything sustainable in life is run. That's just Manchester United's board being shit. But at the same time as Spurs now going for Conte, aggressively going for Conte, looking like they're going to be getting Conte in as their manager, Manchester United are still deciding what we're doing with Solskjaer. Now, what does that mean? If Conte isn't... Let's say Conte goes to Spurs, right? What does that mean for Manchester United, right? Because Conte was seen as somebody and it divided opinion as to whether or not it was the right decision. Nobody would question that Conte coming into Man United mid-season would make us more competitive. It absolutely would. While there will be concerns about players fitting into that formation, what would happen with Rashford, Sancho and Greenwood and Pogba, nobody could question whether or not Conte would have made United a more competitive overall team with the squad he had available there. He would have done. Simple as that. But would it have fit, fitted the long-term plan? And I know you might not think that United have a long-term plan, but certainly one thing we haven't been planning towards is a 3-5-2 formation. Solskjaer may have used it against Spurs. He may well use it against Atalanta. He may well use it against City, but it's not the long-term plan. The long-term plan is 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-3. And a manager who plays that formation. And that's why someone like Eric Ten Hag is someone who you can see fitting the continuity at Manchester United rather than a U-turn post Solskjaer going to Conte, it would make, you could see the the upgrade basically on, on Solskjaer would be Ten Hag, whilst also sharing similarities in terms of the style, in terms of, the, of at least the formation that the player is playing. But Conte, what's your reaction to this? Um, are you surprised by it? I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised that Spurs acted, as we saw in that game against the, at the weekend. They were crap. Spurs were literally down and out from like the first minute against United. So I'm not surprised to see that they have sacked their manager. Am I surprised to see Antonio Conte is prepared to go to that Spurs job? Yeah, I am a little bit, if I'm being completely honest. If Conte didn't want to go to that job during the summer, why would he now want to go into that job when they've lost five out of their last seven games, when they're a club in turmoil, when Harry Kane is misfiring, when Son is misfiring, when everybody inside that squad is misfiring? Why would he want to go then? I don't know, maybe he's... Keener to return to management than I give it credit for. But DiMaggio and Sky Italy are all reporting, and Fabrizio Romano are all reporting Conte to his Spurs is far closer than it ever was before. That Spurs really are on the verge of agreeing a deal to bring Conte in as their immediate replacement for Nuno Espirito Santo. Now, what does that mean for United? Does that mean now that we're, we're going to be sticking with Solskjaer until the end of the season? Because if you're looking at short-term and it would be, not that it would be a, a massive, it would be a short-term appointment, Conte to United, in terms of the vision. As I said, people, this is where the arguments continue. It's very hard to explain this um, without sounding like I'm just talking about DNA and culture and passion. But Conte would jar with, the, with what we've been working towards for the last couple of years, whether or not you think it, it would, it, it would. And that's why Ten Hag would, would, would suit more. But going and getting Ten Hag on the 1st of November at a time when Ajax are doing very well, at a time when he's already sort of committed his future to Ajax, at least for this season, it's going to be very, very difficult for United to do that. It's going to take time for United to do that. Now, so what happens? Do we go after Ten Hag? Do we stick with Solskjaer until the end of the season? And I think the most difficult conversation is if, if we're going to be going for Ten Hag at the end of the season, then what do we do now? Do we stick with Solskjaer until the end of the season or do we bring in an interim? And if an interim comes in, who is that interim manager? It's not really going to be feeling Carrick or McKenna, I don't think, because the club would have lost faith in them in the same way they would have lost faith in Solskjaer. And for a lot of people, Conte was the fix to those issues, the fix to those problems. And I did a video this morning from Romano saying he's, that Conte 100% wants the United job. And all of a sudden, half an hour, 40 minutes later, we're having a discussion about Conte being on the verge of becoming Spurs' manager. So what's your reaction to this? Let me know in the comments. It's, 
It's going to be something that develops fast. I'll be back here live on United People's TV if and when it happens. But according to Romano, Conte is ready to join Spurs. He's ready to accept that proposal. Negotiators will continue in the next few hours to complete the agreement. Where do you stand on it? Where do you stand on how it affects Manchester United's future with Solskjaer and everything? Do you want Conte in or do you think that United have missed out on Conte? Or do you think United have made the right decision not to go for Conte? There's so many questions to ask about this. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. But this is, well, football, man. It's gone a bit mad in the last few weeks, hasn't it? And it's not going to slow down anytime soon. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV and let me know what you think in the comments.